Yo, this Gorilla Boy Nook, man. Coming to the trees near you. I just jumped off the porch with my boy Dirty Glove Bastard, man. Love, bro. Jump on my seat now. All right, so we got my guy, Gorilla Boy Nuck, jumping off the porch with us today. Yeah, Welcome, sir, bro. We're stepping off the porch. We've been jumped off, though. <laughs> <laughs> now you get to jump off our porch, yeah, though, Yeah, we man. jumping off y'all now, man. Yes, sir, man. Welcome. I appreciate you for having me here, brother. No, nah, I appreciate you coming by, man. It's like you in good spirits, too, yeah, man. For sure. Yeah, man. For so sure. Go, yeah, so go ahead and shout out, you know, everyone that's sitting up there with you today, shout too, man. Shout out to the team, 900, man, the label. This my, my my wolves, my youngest. Shout out BAC, my brother and them, you know. The nation, everybody, man. We're here to talk about it today. Oh, absolutely, man. Yeah, so, yeah, welcome, everyone. So, what have you been getting into in here in Atlanta since you touched down, man? man what brought you I've to the city? Doing, um, what was it? Off the, on my block. On my block. From you know, the just, block. Shout out to block. Zay, man. Shout out to Zay. Yes, sir. Um, been just working around. You know, it's like just black Hollywood. You know what I mean? Yes, Hollywood, sir. period. You know, you can rub elbows, different. For the music, just like... This, this is the place to be, man. Out. Yeah, this is it right here. So Absolutely. I'm going to balls with everybody, you know, and just making it happen. I, I feel that, man. Now, do you come down here to Atlanta pretty often or not too much? I was just down here. I had a crib in Midtown. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. it was cool. Yeah. A lot of females, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, way enough for me right here, man. Yeah. How would you compare Atlanta to Chicago then, or is there no comparison between the two? I mean, everybody got their trench, you know, just... I, it's different when you're from, when you're living where you're from. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't move really. I mean, you can't move really loose here neither. They, the same scat pack will pull up on your ass if you, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they got them here too, but it's just different because I'm from the rap. Yeah. So I get to move a little better here like, shit, I was jogging downtown Atlanta. No ski mask on. In <laughs> Chicago, I got to wear a whole bulletproof vest, this mask, everything covered up to do any jogging. So, you know, um, it's more connection, Yeah, connecting here. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, it's a lot of more women, man. <laughs> That's a good thing, yeah, right? So, so you, know, you know, I'm, I'm from the rack, man. So, you know, it ain't no compare. I love y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? It's just that. I can connect a little better when I'm not where I'm, you know, where I'm living at, where I'm from. Yeah. So. Do you feel like, you know, coming from Chicago, that type of environment kind of prepares you to move around other cities then? It's, it's, it's like, it, um it mature you enough to be able to, if you knowledgeable, because if not, you will come from the rack and you have that same tough mentality. Mm -hmm. But if I come, if I know, I know where I'm from, so I know Chicago. So I'm not bringing that energy here. I'm bringing that same precaution and safety measurements here, but I'm not. Like I said, I ain't gonna come out, walk Atlanta Midtown like this and think it's sweet, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'll come regular, you know? So it prepares me, it do, but you know, like I said, no matter where you're from, where you're going, it's all style right here. Hmm. So you can be from Chicago and think you escaping by moving to Atlanta, but if you take that same mentality with you, you're going to get the same drama. Yeah. You no, know, so that's just what it is. No, nah, very true, man. So what part of Chicago are you from? I'm from out west, man. Okay. Yeah, I'm from out west, man. You know, 290, man. The hustlers that and shit, you know, all that type of shit. The fee fees and hmm. the chemos and you know what I'm saying? <laughs> all that, all that type of stuff, man. Shout out to my, my brother in the mouth south too. It ain't nothing. You know we love y'all, you know? <laughs> but we just from out west, y'all know. So break down the culture out west. Like, what be going on, you know, on that side of town? <laughs> it changed, man. We used to could kick it. I was just telling them, bro, y'all don't even know how fee fees is. I'm talking about we are all night, every neighborhood connected with each other. Now, what? You'll be lucky to have a Fifi probably a good 15 minutes, 20 minutes before shots get to find girls on the ground bleeding. It's just like, but our West culture, we more like, we laid back. You know, we used to have this argument with, like if you was, went to the county jail and you was from out south and you was from out west, we have a big argument all the time. <laughs> Man, y'all thieving it. It's like that. Y'all us pack working out, you know what I'm saying? So we more like laid back getting to the money out west. But now it changed. Hmm. Chicago is Chicago, man. No matter where you coming from, it's just that right now. But back then it was more like we was them hustlers, you know what I'm saying? We the ones that gonna get the bag. Okay. South Ben had it for putting shit down. 
I ain't gonna even lie, you know what I'm saying? But they been known for it already. Guns, and that's what they was really, we was really known for more of the hustling, the fee-fees, the kicking it, the girls, you know what I'm saying? But it changed now, man. Hmm. When did you notice that change? Shit. When kids started dying. Hmm. When I was growing up, both kids weren't dying. Babies died now, like two, three-year-old babies getting hit by straight bullets and like Jeez. this clown shit. But you know, that's just the reality of what we living in right now. Yeah. So when I seen the younger age start dying, I'm like, cause killing always was here. It was here when we, was gonna be here when we leave. It was BC, before, after Christ, you know what I'm saying? It's here, but like, no morals. And I just knew when babies start dying, like I said, girls start dying. That's when I knew like it's changing, you know yeah. what I'm saying? It's changing. What do you kind of attribute that to? Is it just kind of like a lack of OGs, a lack of guidance in the city? Or is it, do you blame social media for it? Do you want to blame the music for it? Or is it just a combination of everything? Yeah, I say um, music is number one. So that's, that's it's, you know, music is vibrationable. So if I could get a certain tempo with a certain beat, I can make him get right on there by him just hearing a certain aggressive beat. I put some aggressive words with it, now he ready to swing just off that alone. And you know these hi-hats know this. So you know they push it all the way, all over that. That's why it's so quick for drill rappers to blow right off. Hmm. Because it's an agenda that they pushing. We need y'all to make killing cool, back knowing each other cool, disrespecting y'all women. You know what I'm saying? So music is number, like that's the biggest one. Um, social media, for sure now, because everybody living in the metaverse. Nobody is really like living for them. So that's where I'm coming in at. I'm making people, okay, it's okay to be yourself. Um, drugs, you know what I'm saying? The lack of respect, not enough OGs stepping up, that's for sure. Um, it's all in one. Like you said, it, 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 make, it all come in one. It definitely all come in one, but it all start with us too though. Hmm. So I ain't gonna sit there and blame nobody. That's why I say us, all of us play a part. Yeah. I'm still the same one that I still was listening, you know, just still listen to some drill music right now. So I ain't knocking it, I'm just saying that's just the reality, that's the truth, that's the real problem. But yeah. until we um, take accountability for that, it ain't gonna change, bro. Hmm. You know, we could talk about it all day, but ain't nothing gonna change. So, you know. What do you feel like is gonna create that change? Let's create that spark for change then. More rappers like me. I mean, I got an album just dropped. And I was talking about what I have been through, but like, for the most part, if we get enough people, and this don't matter, no color matter. You know what I'm saying, it doesn't matter. If we get enough of us to stand up and be like, we tired of that, it can change. But it don't start with us first though. You know, we gotta get ourselves together first. I have to get myself together before I can tell him something. Cause I have to lead by example. So you know it's gonna take for us to do it as a unit, as a unit, all of us. You know what I'm saying? And that's when it's gonna start to change. Other than that, it's nothing gonna change. One or two people can't do it. Ye can't do it, or you know what I'm saying? Just one person can't do it. Everybody gotta stand up and do it. So you know that's just what it is, man. No, I agree with that, man. So when would you say you jumped off the porch, then? Man, I don't remember it being like this though. Um, uh, probably like seven, seven, eighth grade. I started helping my mom pay rent. I was hustling then. Hmm. So, you know, a lot of people get it confused. They think jumping off the porch mean like jumping off killing, start toting pipes. That's not what it is. Jumping off the porch just mean like, that's a, really a figure of speech. It's mean like, like these fools actually I done seen people, I've been jumped off the porch, like, dude, you ain't really jumping from nowhere. It's maturing into a lifestyle. So, you know, like seventh, eighth grade, yeah, I was young, bro. I was young, you know what I'm saying? I always had respect the morals growing up. I always had a plan, like, I wanted to be big. Even if I had Mitch dreams. When I was young, I wanted to be Mitch, El Chapo. I had all these type of crazy ass thoughts, you know? But it was just to better myself for my family. It was never to be the man. A lot of people just want to be the man just cause. I always wanted to be that to help my family and others. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So 
Yeah, how about I jumped off the light to answer the question? Seventh, eighth grade, I was a younger man. Okay. Yeah. When did those dreams start to change then from, you know, big meets to, man, I can do something more positive? Nah, when I started seeing what happened to their ass, shit, that, that was me growing up just playing, shit. Big meets, bro, shout out to Big Meats, man, he's still locked up for that. Mm -hmm. He's still locked up for certain stuff. And these intelligent guys that just was caught up in a lifestyle. But once they get you, you got, you know what I'm saying? So I'm starting thinking like, nah, I ain't really trying to be like Mitch no more, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be Gorilla, man. But, you know, I ain't really trying to go that route. I got to be here. So, yeah. and I ain't knocking nobody. I'm just saying like my mental style changed when I'm like, in order for me to want better, I have to change. And then I can change because me growing up being big Mitch or one of these big time, you know, and still be like, here, shorty pass them off, whatever, and I'm not changing nothing. I'm just following the cycle mm -hmm. until one day, you know, I'm gonna get eaten by the full cycle, you know, this crazy world, we, this life we living in right now. Yeah. So that's when it started changing, when I started, see, like, growing up, like, no, nah, it's a real outcome to that. There's not no fucking Yeah, there's TV. usually only two outcomes. Yeah, you it's, don't it's want either one of them. Yeah, it's literally, for sure. You either gonna do life in the jail, you gonna do life in the ground, but you getting that L for sure. For sure. That, so. Absolutely. Yeah. So, so what is your definition of gorilla? Um, <laughs> I mean, the definition of a gorilla, that's me, I'm a silverback. You know, I did some research, they said silverback gorilla is like one of the only monkey species that can actually go recruit another monkey and be like tell him what position he want him to play hmm. like you swing the trees you watch s let the women be in the middle hey you play the front you know what i'm saying like this is uh, this is like intelligence from a silverback so i'm reading this i'm like dang that's crazy and i started thinking about it, like man that's me i have that i can talk to a person and be like nah bro i don't think you should do that you know we should woo woo and somebody be like yeah you right bro so it's the leadership that come behind it. You know what I'm saying? The, um, the bravery, the ambition. You know, like I ain't just got this tattoo for no reason. I just really sit back and I study this animal. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? I really like bananas for real. So, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, that's just, that's me. So it, I just clamped on to it. Of course, there's some other, you know, some things that I ain't gonna get into about the gorilla, but you know. You know, what the gorillas get crazy sometimes. That's what we do. But, you know, that's another story. We think it positive right now, man. Understood. What do you think makes someone a great leader then? Because, you know, everyone uh, wants to be a leader. Everyone wants to be a boss. But not everyone's built for that. See, it's everybody want to. Anybody can be a boss. That's nice. Running money up is easy. Everybody can be a leader. So a leader, that's why, that's, that gets back to what I said earlier. Everybody want to be the man just because. Like, a leader is like somebody that leads you, like, will not lead you astray. Meaning, even if he's taking certain sacrifices to lose just to make you win. A, a lot of times, a great leader don't even win a lot. Our losses be more than anything. But by us being a great leader, we're able to embrace those losses and make them to wins mentally. So, you know, and in order to be a great leader, you have to be a great follower. So, you know, you have to be able to watch the greats and it don't take no high education. It don't take none of that. It just take real common sense and pure and in, in the heart. So a great leader is just someone who just like going to lead you astray because you got bad leaders that can lead. I said a great leader, you know what I'm saying? Someone that's going to lead you and give you enough knowledge to go get you some people to lead back to this greatness. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? When we get rich, we, we pulling down, we reaching, helping people up. You know what I'm saying? We pulling them up. But we got to know that you righteous too, though. So we ain't leading no bunch of, this ain't no murder, nothing we doing. This is all positive. And I got a lot of more other guys than this. And we all pushing this same piece, tattoos and effect. We going to show them that we can be different. Mm -hmm. You know? So that's leadership right there. When you can take real thugs and killers from the trenches and turn them into like businessmen and be like, you know what, they like, we good. We been wanting to push peace. A lot of people been wanting to push peace, but we stuck in a time zone where 
following and this trend is so popular to the point even if he wanted to change, he's not going to change because he don't want to feel lame. So it's going to take a great leader like me to be like, hey, look, bro, you good. You know what I'm saying? I might have to put a little design on and a little jewelry or whatever just so I can speak his language. You know what I'm saying? So he can grab something on me. I can't come up regular and be like, hey, look, they're going to be like, who is you? I might have to come up a little flea. Man, what type of shoes are you like them? Check it out, little bro. Let's talk. This how you can get these the right way, though. As leadership, you know what I'm saying? That's that's a great leader for you right there. Yes. I'm a great leader. Yeah, someone that can relate to him, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, anybody, and it's not just them. I can relate to any party. Well, I done done it. Anybody, from a homeless person to have made the sophisticated intelligence conversations with men and women. Yeah. Different races, it don't matter. You know, leaders got to be able to um, lead no matter what, mm -hmm. and be able to still have that ambition no matter what. Like I said, I'm a silverback. You put him anywhere, he gonna be still good. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's just what it is. Yeah. And talk about promoting this healthy lifestyle too, man. Oh man, that's that's that's. I was just talking to one of my partners, man. We were just saying like, I think food is like the biggest addiction in the world. Hmm. Don't get it twisted. I fast and stuff, but I have. I be like, man, it's it's not easy. But you know, um, you are what you eat. But to each his own, though. So I'm not up here promoting, um, I'm not going vegan. No, you just, it's a balance. You got to be able to balance negative and the positive. So too much of anything is bad for you. But you know what? The tricky thing about this life that we live in, no matter what lifestyle you go, vegan, breath tissue, you're not making it out alive anyway. You see what I'm saying? So that's all a trick that they doing. Oh, go vegan and you going to. Now they putting seeds, now they putting vegetables and fruits in the grocery store with no seeds in them now. You know what I'm saying? But go vegan though. Steroids and our chicken and shit, we can't win. So you just have to balance it. Um, it do open up your mental to a better spot, um, place. Um, I, I just promote everybody to always just eat your fruits and vegetables. I mean, that's just the natural. Uh, human beings are really natural frugivores. We really made to eat fruit. So. You know, I always go back to what you started with. Fruits and vegetables, if you're going to eat your meat, do it clean. Pray over it and just balance it, brother. Yeah. You know, I can't bash nobody because I come from everything, eating anything. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes we ain't have it. Hmm. So mama made it what happened. So I'm not going to ever be vegan. I know vegans that's three, 400 pounds. That don't mean nothing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? With diabetes and cancer, all type of stuff. So. It don't mean nothing. I actually heard of someone who um, was vegan for such amount of time for so long to the boy he can't even eat greens no more. Really? He gonna die. This is a true false story. That's wild. I thought, that's true, right? What's his name? Uh, Billy Carson. Actually, look him up. He'll tell you. And he's a super intelligent guy. Hmm. He said he did it for 15 years straight and almost killed himself being vegan. Oh, wow. That goes to show you right there that health started up here. You got to think about it. Before medicine, hospitals, we used to heal each other just by our mental. The movies when they putting their hands over the sores and they healing up, that's real stuff people do. Hovering off the ground, that stuff is real. So you can't heal nothing if you don't heal this first. Everything else can heal itself. So, you know, but to each his own, man. I'm with y'all. We fighting together, man. Yeah. For real. Speaking of fighting, you training to be a boxer, is that right? Oh man, um, I used to box, but now I'm doing um, karate and then I do um, Krav Maga. So it's like a mixed martial arts class. Okay. Um, I just train, you know, as a man, you know, we are made to be alphas. And again, I'm a silverback, so I have to be at a lieutenant stage. I'm not doing this to hurt nobody. Um, God forbid that I ever have to snap somebody in half, but you know, I'm gonna do it though when it comes down to it. So just like, but again, I'm pushing peace though. But like, don't get it twisted ever, you know. And that's you gotta just, be able to protect yourself. That's just what it is. So I do that to um not to train for no fight or nothing like that. Just to stay, you know what I'm saying, in that alpha mode. And you know what? It helps me mentally. Mm -hmm. You know, just because I make it look good and easy, that don't mean it's always good. You know what I'm saying, brother? So. I be have to have things to help me, and I'm not, I don't do nothing. 
Like, I don't smoke, drink, nothing. <laughs> so I got to find something that helped me. Yeah. And working out is just that for me. Ain't nothing wrong with that, man. Ain't nothing wrong with that, you know? It's a good addiction to have. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, talk to us about the nation then. How long you been studying? Then? Um, I actually just started studying with the nation. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's a powerful. That's the, it's the, they, they giving me truth. You know, I ain't in. I'm learning. That's what I do. I sit back and I learn. So, you know, I ain't the type to just to be like, oh, I'm going to be this because I see him doing it. I'm like, I like the way they move, but let me do some studying. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, um, and it don't take a lot of education. Shout out to the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Had a, a what, third grade education, and he was one of, like, the most powerful elite men to ever walk this earth. So, knowledge, that's what I seek. Um, Religion sometimes get off into different brackets that I be there. I had to grasp myself, so before I, I just get my knowledge. So I've been studying with them, and they've been teaching me a lot. And I appreciate y'all, Golden Child. Yeah. I actually got Minister Farrakhan right here. Okay. Right there on my arm, yeah. So, you know, I got a lot of love and respect for them, man. Now, that's what's up, man. So when it comes to music, how long you been rapping? Is this something you've always had a passion for? Is this something you picked up just recently? Now, I've been rapping for a year. That's it? That's okay. it. And you know what? I, you know what? I was just talking to my, my, my manager, my brother, and my manager, and he was like, you know, we'll be listening to certain songs, and I'd be like, man, did you hear it? He like, yeah, I'm talking about, no, did you hear the high lives? And he used to be like, bro, if you know so much about that shit, why you won't rap, bro? <laughs> and I used to be like, man, hey, I'm good on that shit. You know why? Because I was scared of people's opinions. And you know what? I sunk their ass, man. I did a rap, bro, one day and sunk them that shit. They told me that shit was nothing. That shit hurting me, bro. Hey, y'all fucking me up before I even started, bro. <laughs> I sunk it to them, thought I was doing something. What y'all think about this? They sent about they That shit was garbage as hell, bro. <laughs> that killed me, bro. You know what I'm saying? I ain't had no more fight after that. But you know what? Shout out to Pops, you know. Um, Didi, he always... Um, he just was like Morpheus to it, man. You know, you seen The Matrix. Mm -hmm. You know, Neo was like, hey, stop knocking on my door. I don't know y'all. I'm good. You see what I'm saying? I don't care about no blue pill, red pill. And he was just always that for me. Like, you know, I spit a little something. I always knew how to sing a little bit. So I spit a little something, write a little something. I'm, all, I'm good at writing. Like, I could hear a beat and like, um, before I just like go rhyme on the beat, I would rather like my mental like walk through the beat. So I like to try to split up the middle of it. So I ain't ramming on the beat no more. I'm just ramming off the rhythm now. That's so, you know, I get in my zone and I just, bro, I had fast for like five days with nothing but water. Jeez. <laughs> I'm talking about, let me tell you something. <laughs> on that fifth day, I was ready to eat anything I saw. <laughs> but in those times, I was making some of my best music. Huh. It's like my mental had opened up to another level, and I'm in there starving, my nigga, you hear me? Writing it up, stomach doing a drill on me. I'm like, man, I'm hungry in this bitch. But you know, so that's how I know that it's really something in me about the music. I'm always listening to it, you know, I'm, and, I'm, I'm, and I'm, not, I'm not, I'm a real artist. I'm Basquiat to it. Like, you'll catch me listening to Billy, um, Billy Eilish, Lady Gaga, Justin Bieber. The Temptations, I'm that type of artist. I'll be riding in the car. Didi get in the car with me, he this man listening to anything. <laughs> That's what he be saying. You listening to anything. I said, I just like music, bro. <laughs> it's not rap, it's everything with me. So I wanna do, that's actually some of my dreams to do music with country writers. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? All that, I'm trying to get everywhere. Um, reggae and anybody, people from Paris. I just wanna show them that I can do whatever. Any beat they ever give me, I'm going to walk it down, no matter what it is. I got a beat coming out on a gospel beat. A really? Song. Yeah. Okay. That's going to change the, the, the genre of the music. Uh -huh. Watch. <laughs> that one's going to be a whole new way for them. So, you know, that's what it is with me. I'm just like a walking, like, vibration. That's what, we, that's what it's for. You like anybody. You go listen to some music in the morning, and you can go listen to that same music that'll have you turn. Ready to curse wife out, whoever get in your way, you know what I'm saying? So, I think it's just a part of me. Um, so yeah, a year I've been rapping, and you know, he really pushed me. And then the more and more I start, you know, I'm getting in the car with my guys, and they knowing all my songs. 
he know every song I got. Like, you know what I'm saying? That motivates me. I'm like, dang. People actually listen to my music. Mm. You know, stop being so hard on yourself, Nook. That's what I tell myself all the time. Yeah. So for any rapper that's out there that's coming up, like, like Nipsey said, you gotta you gotta make music for the love of it. If you in music to make money, you in the wrong game. Yeah, only so many make it. Yeah, because everybody like doing that. it to be rich. Yeah. You know, so ain't no love in it. Anything you do with love is gonna come out on top. The minute you get in and try to make anything, a business, whatever you're doing, the minute you try to make money off of this shit, you're going to crash because now you're in there like trying to make a record to make money. Hmm. Now you like scrambling. You ain't at your right state of mind, you know? So like this supposed to be something you just have a passion for doing. I get, I cry, I get mad or something, I go right to the beat. That's what helped me, bro. Yeah. All right, so you got the new project called Misunderstood. Yes, sir. First off, just break down that title. Why you chose that title for the project? Um, throughout the album, you can see I went to different spots mentally. Um, Sing a little bit on the album. I'm just misunderstood all the way around. You know, a lot of people don't understand me because um, I put on the glasses. Dick, uh, Dick Gregory once said, once you put these glasses on, you can't take them off. And you're going to see stuff that people don't see. And they might not understand because they're not wearing those glasses you wear. I'm woke. So I get misunderstood a lot because I ain't following the trend. I'm not doing what they're doing. I ain't trying to do what they're doing. And I'm, tell and I'm showing the biggest gangsters that's doing that that's like you a clown for doing that. And we can talk about it humbly. Or I'll put some of these, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> However you want to do it, you know? But yeah, for the most part, I'm just misunderstood. So. It's different songs in there just to show you where my mental is going. You know, like from, from, from verses when I say, why the gray y'all keep sending invitations to us? To my other song, ring, 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 ring. You told me that you would be down to catch a vibe. You know what I'm saying? So I'm bouncing everywhere. And that's just, if you listen to music, you're gonna kind of see like, damn, now I see why. You know what I'm saying? He jumping everywhere. This is why he misunderstood, because he just, you know, so. I like being misunderstood though. Hmm. Why is that? Because it, no, it ain't no traffic in this lane. Hmm. Everybody want to be understood or heard or like just like me, I'm good with being like this. The more misunderstood I be, the better it is for me because I don't have to deal with you now. So in your mind or people's mind, it's that's lame. He, he will. Cool. Let me stay my will that right in, right in here, have it levitating off the ground. Leave me alone over here. <laughs> misunderstood. Look, leave him alone. So I ain't got to deal with all of that because it keeps me woke, like, and it keeps me in a different bracket. It ain't always good to be understood. Don't let that go over your heads, man. <laughs> so what are the fans saying? Um, you know, I'm new. I got fans, man. I can honestly say that. I'm proud of man, myself. You do pretty good on YouTube, yeah. man. Your numbers are up yeah, there. Yeah, I got fans, man. They loving me, man. They loving me, man. You know what? I got, like, I literally got videos on my phone. People DMing me, bro, did you hear what you just said on that track? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I heard it. I, that's me on there. He, man, keep on going, bro. I'm, I'm from Tennessee. Man. I'm from Florida, bro. So, you know, they showing me, like, you know, we, we rocking with you. And, you know, I come from a, I'm a hustler. So, as long as I progress, I ain't going in there like, oh, there's got to be that hit song. I'm just going in there making music because this is what I love doing. And slowly but surely, I'm picking up on one. There's one person, two more people, two, three more, four more. They showing me the love because I'm doing it with love. So, you know, shout out to the fans. I love y'all, for real. Come get some personal classes. Tell what I'm going to teach you all type of stuff, crazy stuff. You training people too? Uh, I would if they want me to. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the next video? You plan to drop another video off the project? Um, no, the album done. Actually, that was like my first songs that I ever made. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. that was the first songs ever. That's why, and I was trying to get away from this deal that I was in. It got a little crazy with that. Um, if you're independent, just try to stay as long as you can. If not, read your contracts. Because you can find bullshit in any contract you sign. So, um, that was really to push that out, get away from that. Uh, deal. Yeah, them my first songs ever. Like, I got real heat. Hmm. Like, after a person hit these next songs, they're like, that can't be the same him. Hmm. So, like, them was songs I was just making, just 
And people loving them songs. They loving them songs right there. And I ain't even love them like that. I'm like, that's, that ain't really nothing. That just goes to show you, like, one man's trash is another man's treasure. I'm like, man, them songs ain't shit. They like, boy, you went crazy on that. You tripping. I bet. There's nine billion people in this world. Mm. Somebody gonna like something. Nah, you know? for real. For real. <laughs> so 900 the label, right? 900 ENT, man. There we go right there, man. There it is. So what's some of the goals for the label then? Um, like I said, we pushing peace. So um, this is not just a label. It's like, it's like we're going to change. We're going to change a lot with this. Music is just like one of them. Like we rebuilding communication, um, um, community clubs and doing stuff for homeless. We just trying to build a real better the community. This is not, this is not just about music. You know what I'm saying? This is like a real movement. We got a lot of powerful people with us and we just like in it to make a change. It's definitely not about the music, but we gonna, the music is me, so I'm gonna use the music to get attention, but when we get it, we educating people. No color matter, again, I say that it doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? So, and we pushing that. Whoever can come in and help us, is no violence in this. And we showing them that gathering up 10, 15, 50 niggas from all genders, big, small, tights on the face, and we all just pushing this piece. But make no mistake, we gonna keep insurance like State Farm. You see what I'm saying? So like all of these hands will get dirty if it was if we needed to be, but we gonna push peace. So that's what this is about. It's a movement. 900 ENT is a movement, not just for music, to get people off the streets, education, better jobs. That's what we on. This is like a real movement, bro. This is going to be the one of the biggest they ever heard about. Watch. Yeah. For sure, bro. I fuck with that, man. Wish you a lot of success with that, yeah, too. Yeah, for man. sure that. Yeah. So what's some advice you would share to the youth coming up right now? Man, stop doing them perks. <laughs> you don't know what's in these things. No man, way. Joe, stop doing them drugs, man. Um, you know, stay motivated. Don't worry about their opinions. They're going to talk about you regardless. So know that you getting talked about anyway um and you know just take it one day at a time we living in a time where like the internet makes you have to be at this certain level of you gotta have jewelry you gotta be flea the girls gotta get her body done to be accepted love you for you like you can go get all of this it won't mean nothing if you don't love you so learn how to love yourself Stop the drugs, put the guns down, man. That shit ain't getting us nowhere. It's not getting us nowhere. We killing each other for what? We look like the fools in the end. And I'm gonna be the one that I always tell them, put the guns down, bro. You know, like, it ain't worth it, bro. Like, we have to push, the, we have to start. And y'all are the generation that's getting attacked right now. The youth under me. Y'all are the ones that's getting attacked because y'all so lost quick to tick off the drugs, the internet. Take some time, meditate, chill, find yourself. If you gotta smoke a little ganja, smoke a little ganja, man. By Molly said it's the best, man. So, you know, stay motivated and just stay humble. And it's gonna happen. Whatever you're doing gonna happen. Remember that. That's universal law. You get what you put. That go for anybody. Yeah. So, you know, if you're an artist, don't be too thirsty to blow up. It's gonna happen. Dirk and was in the game 10 years and stuff before they blew. Mm -hmm. And you got people that snap right off. It's just the laws that you have to put in first, you know? The sacrifices, so know that. Um, I love y'all, man. I don't know you yet, but you know, I'm willing to sit down and shake a couple of y'all hands, you know? And for you ignorant ones, you know, we, we push the peace, but still keep that peace for them ignorant niggas. So, you know, however, man. But you know, for the most part, we coming like this. Wise That's words to my right youth, man. Yeah. I'm counting on them. Hmm. All right, you got any shout outs you like to give before you wrap it up your neck? I got shouted out to everybody. Um, I want to shout out y'all off, uh, off the porch. You know what I'm saying? This is the first time I ever sat on a porch with these young. I guess, you know, okay. I'm from a different, I'm from 4G. They five generation. I'm from fourth generation. So, you know, shout out to my guys, the couple of ones that we got locked up, you know, and if you don't see them with us, then don't ask no questions about them. You know what I'm saying? But shout out 900, the nation, man, and you know, everybody. 
I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Jump out my seat now, I'm feeling weary, federal.